Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with the old guy here at Triumph in Marcusha. Today, we're going to take out the Bonneville T120. This is 1200cc engine, which we've ridden a couple times in different platforms on the Bonneville line. This one has 79 brake horsepower, 77 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs 530 pounds, but it's got that classic flat seat in the back. It's, you know, plus I love the dash a lot. <laughs> seat height is... You know, nearly flat-footed, actually. Road mode, rain mode, back to road. Road and rain, that's what you got. Oh. Here we go. This seating position is, I don't know what it is, Triumph's seats are so plush and so comfortable that it's it's just a nice place to sit. I mean this has got I do like the fact this has that little tank grip on the side there. And it's not because you're leaning off the bike. It's because where you put your leg, that's right where your leg is and the way the cut of the tank is, it's nice to have that little rubber pad there. This has, honestly, better power delivery than I thought. And this, the riding position is neutral. I mean, dead neutral. I am sitting almost dead straight up. My feet are literally right in front of me. You know, it's kind of like a mid, but it's a very neutral mid. You know, it's not here. It's just a little bit back but it's in a very very comfortable spot so i have a you know a nice bend in my knee for me if this is you know kind of like where i like to ride anyway i mean for 530 pounds this is not light by any means this is not light it's got a very very strong pull down low so when you're on this when you're in the street you're very neutral, you're very relaxed, you're just kind of cruising down the road. Now this bike isn't cheap, I think it was like 12 something, $12,000 maybe. I have the biggest problem, I can remember all the specs and do that, but I have the biggest problem remembering how much things cost. But. This has got that classic styling, and that's kind of what you're paying for. You know, this is non-adjustable front end. I'm pretty sure it's preload in the back. And it's very stable. I mean, I, I like the gauges. You know, that classic analog gauge everything there it's like man this is just classic it's vintage it's beautiful you know it's the way you, where you put your feet on the tank where you put your legs perfect absolutely perfect you know you're you're trying to have a nice diverse lineup on the channel and that's the whole point is to show off as many bikes as possible even bikes from the same that are the same for the most part but different years I still want to ride it I want to show it off I want people to be able to go to a channel and be like all right there you go you want to you want to see this bike here it is this is on the road riding this is my first reaction to this bike this model year. 
Are we going to be able to know every single spec? No. Not, not in the first ride. Because we're trying to do this, you know, we don't get the bikes sent to us. We have to go and ride as much as we can when we can. We're still in third gear. Let's shift out. It's a good bike. This is a good bike. Looks good. Handles good. Very relaxed, very comfortable. It's a good bike. I mean, I can't, I can't say anything bad about this bike. It's very comfortable. It's very easy to ride. It's very relaxed. I mean, I guess it's a little tall, I mean, for some shorter riders. I mean, I did not like the bobber, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to like everything. You know, some bikes just don't speak to people. Other bikes do. Somebody wants a retro style that's modern, that's got good power, it's got good, you know, it's, it's a very comfortable ride. Yeah, there's a marker for this bike. <laughs> it's a fun bike. It's a fun bike. It really is. It like it, it rides down the road really well. I mean, you know, you're just kind of. It's kind of here. Let's see here. Are going to get an open road? I am. Here we go. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not slow. It's not slow. I mean, now granted, I did go as far as I could twist that throttle. You know, I don't know what that ended up being as far as speed run because when I'm doing that, I'm kind of looking forward, I'm not really looking down at my speedometer. Is that the cruise? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I did this on the bobber and it kept felt kind of. <laughs> it's like it's like it's not exactly comfortable, you know. But on this, oh yeah. Yeah, it's very comfortable. It has a, there's a certain level of appeal to a bike that looks like this. And I can't fault anyone for wanting or... purchasing this bike I can't fault anybody for it because this is a really good bike so a very nice comfortable platform it's really good looking and yeah it's just that's it that's it that's it and I can't I can't say anything bad about it because there's nothing bad about it I mean, could it have adjustable suspension? Yeah, sure. But I don't want to raise the price anymore. And 12 grand is still kind of a stretch, in my opinion. But the price is what the price is. Triumph Bonneville 2023 T120 really good bike really good bike it's enjoyable to ride it's very comfortable can't complain at all can't complain at all 
as always, everybody, stay safe and enjoy the ride.